First, let's start by learning how to open CorelDRAW. What we want to do is go down to our Start menu, click on Start, All Programs, scroll down to our CorelDRAW file folder, click on our CorelDRAW. This will start the CorelDRAW program. Many versions of CorelDRAW come up with a splash screen. Most cases, we want to just exit off of the splash screen. In this case, we have a welcome screen that comes up. We can scroll over, click on our X on the tab, and we will exit that welcome screen. Next, we'll start by creating a new file. In this case, we'll go over to File, New, and we get a dialog box. This dialog box has the name of our part. Next is the size. There are various standard sizes listed, but if we wanted to change the size of our document, we could type it in in the width and the height boxes. In this case, we also have number of pages, one. Typically, we'll do most documents with only one page. Rendering resolution, 300 DPI, that is the default. Most of the time, you won't need to change this. Once we're all set, we can click OK. Now that we have a new document, let's go through an overview of our screen. At the top, we have the menu bar. This is our classic menu that gets us access to all the commands in CorelDRAW. We have our standard toolbar. This has many of the most commonly used commands, property bar. Each of the tools has specific properties associated with them. Those properties will show up here depending on what tool you select. The toolbox. The toolbox has quick access to most of the tools that you'll need in CorelDRAW. One thing you'll notice is that there is a arrow in the lower right-hand corner of some of the tools. If you go over to that tool and click on that arrow, click and hold, it will actually bring up other commands. So you'll be able to access more commands than just what is shown. The document window is made up of a couple different areas. First, we have the document page. It looks like a sheet of paper in the middle of our screen. This is our document. What is on this page is what is in our document. Outside of the document page is the desktop. We can have graphics in that area, but it won't be printed. There, it's more like an area that we can store things, but not use it in our document. Last, we have our Dockers. Our Docker pane is tabbed, and it allows us to get quick access to many different tools that we'll need. We'll talk more about the Docker panel in a minute. Before we begin, I would like to cover three items. When we created a new document, we typed in the size of the page that we would like. Sometimes we want to change that size. And the easiest way to do that in CorelDRAW is with no items selected on the screen, we can come up into our property bar and we see a horizontal and vertical dimension here. We also see that it's listed as letter. We can click down and select a different size document, but typically we want to create a custom size document. So to change the size of the page is we just click into the horizontal dimension. We type in a new one and we can hit tab to go to the next one and we can put in that dimension and then you hit enter and the page size will change and you can see our new page is now five inches by five inches sometimes we want to do this for the different equipment that we have in the fab lab the next item I'd like to talk about is zooming a lot of times we need to zoom in and out of our document to get a better look at what's on the screen in this case I only have our page on the screen. So you can use the scroll wheel to actually scroll in or scroll out. And the last thing I'd like to cover is panning. Many times when we're working on a document, we need to pan around. The way that we do that is by using the scroll bars on the sides of the window. We can use that to scroll up and down and horizontally. But another way to do it is to use the zoom tool. So if we zoom out, Let's say we wanted to move over to the right, we'll just move over and we can then zoom in. So instead of panning, a lot of times we'll use the zoom in and zoom out to achieve the same result. CorelDRAW is a very powerful program. There are many features and tools available to use. 
I will be talking about a small set of the tools that you will use to create graphics that you will use in conjunction with the equipment in the Fab Lab.